Question number 11. The Honourable Dr Nick Smith. Mr Speaker, my question is to the Minister of Forestry. Does agree with the statement in the speech from the throne, quote, this government is committed to a new planting programme, planting 100 million trees a year to reach a billion more trees in 10 years? The Honourable Damien O'Connor. Mr Speaker, on behalf of the Minister of Forestry, yes. Will the government be counting in its 100 million trees new planting programme the 50 million trees currently planted each year to restock foresters, forests that are harvested each year? Mr Speaker, Mr. Speaker the targets laid down by the government were always targets to be worked through in collaboration with industry. Mr Speaker, Mr. Speaker Order. A, as good as this government is, I don't think we ever thought that we would be solely responsible for the planting of a billion trees. We were always going to work with industry to do that. Order, Mr Speaker. A point of order, the Honourable Doctor. Mr Speaker, my question asked very simply, that was, was the replanting of areas that are logged each year included in the 100 million target? And, and, and the the member, minister made and the no attempt. did address that question. Or supplementary. The supplementary, the Honourable Doctor Nick Smith. Will existing annual tree planting for restocking be counted towards his promised 100 million new planting programme? Speaker. Mr Speaker, the government's target of 1 billion trees over 10 years was always going to include the existing initiatives of landowners, of farmers, of foresters, Mr Speaker, and we are very happy to work on an aspirational target that addresses issues around afforestation, Mr Speaker, climate change, improving water quality and regional employment. Speaker. Point of order, Mr Speaker. A point of order, the Honourable Dr Nick Smith. Mr Speaker, my question was not whether the trees were planted by the private sector or the public sector. It was a very straightforward question, and, and, and that was, and, and would was, within the £100 addressed. million... Further within, No, the, the question has not been addressed. Thank you. Next question... Supplementary, number, Mr Speaker. No, question number 12, Dr Palmjeet Pamar. Question number 12... Point. A point of order, the Honourable Simon Bridges. Thank, thank you, Mr Speaker. I, I just want to raise the point of order. It's highly unusual. Uh, the member's calling for it, so we haven't moved on. And so I'm, just, I'm, I'm clearly seeing to understand yes. what's going yes. on here. And, and, and make it absolutely clear, the number of supplementary questions are entirely at my discretion. I have decided, because of the interjection from Dr Smith, uh, I will not allow any further government or opposition supplementaries on this question. Doctor, it's, I'm not taking away if the, member want, if the members want to use them on the next question they can, uh, but not on this one uh, because of Dr Smith's behaviour. A Speaker. point of order, Jerry Browning. Mr Speaker, I think there are some very important questions that should be asked in this. I'm sorry that you've uh, taken this. One of the new pieces of information that the Minister managed to give the House was the new collaborative way that the government wants to work with all sectors. Uh, to see if they can meet the target. And I think it would have been appropriate if there had been an opportunity to ask him if he'll put out a list of suitable species for home gardeners to put on their list of tree plantings to help the government with their target. And, and, and uh, sorry, as, as a result of that frivolous point of order, one, another one of the supplementary questions the National Party has been lost. A point of order, the Honourable Dr Nick Smith. Mr Speaker, it's a very reasonable request when the government's most important flagship program is around these billion trees no, no, to get... Dot, 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 Nick Smith will resume his seat. He will resume his seat now. I have ruled that we are moving on to question 12 because of an inappropriate interjection by Dr Nick Smith when he had been called for a supplementary. And, and if Dr Nick Smith... Um, intervenes again, it will result in, f on that question, it will result in further loss of supplementary questions to the National Party. A point of order, the Honourable Dr Nick Smith. What was the comment that I made that as a consequence has allowed the member me will, not to... The member will resume his seat. 
Dr. Pamjit Pamar. Question number 12. Speaker, my question is to the Minister of Research, Science and Innovation. 